The assaults on civilians on October 7th in Israel that launched that country and uh, Hamas into a war, they're unspeakable. It includes attacks of sexual violence. And this is not an easy topic to discuss, but rape of both civilians and soldiers was rampant on October 7th. After a long wait, the UN finally announced an investigation into assaults, part of a larger probe into alleged war crimes on both sides. Prime Minister Netanyahu now saying that this UN investigation is biased against Israel. Lenore Abargil, former Miss Israel and Miss World, is joining us right now. She's also a sexual violence advocate. Thank you so much, Lenore, for joining us. I, I know you've been Hi. speaking on behalf of all victims for decades, but what we're hearing come out of October 7th is, is so dark, it's horrible even to speak of it. Why do you think it took so long for the UN to say anything about these rapes? You know, 25 years ago, when I promoted my film, Brave Miss World, uh, it was all over the world. I was traveling around the world. Uh, Me Too uh, movement was with me. All the uh, women organizations, the UN supported me. They didn't ask to have a comprehensive uh, investigation. They, they believed me. They support me uh, like they had to. But now, uh, and you know, when I did my film, I interviewed women from all over the world. But I guess for UN, there is one um, one um, nationality that uh, you have to have a proof, a good proof that you were raped, and that's just my my mine to be Jewish, and it's just I believe it's just meet you and let you are a Jew because how can you say you need to have more 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 proof for what? Is isn't it, isn't it enough what we saw? on all the videos Hamas did? Isn't, isn't it uh, enough to see uh, for all the pictures and, and, and films that we saw that, that beheaded women and, I mean, uh, things that I cannot even say. Yeah, you can't, in, you really can't say them. I mean, I've read things on tweets and wish that my eyes had not seen the words because of the horror and the brutality of some of these attacks. And it wasn't just women. There are reports that, you know, the Israeli military actually warns their soldiers, both male and female, that if they are captured by Hamas, it is very likely they will be raped if they are taken hostage. So what... And they said that, exactly. They well, said it on their videos, that this is what they came to do. Yeah. I mean, what, what women organization did, it's, they took it to the political side. It's not about which side you are on the map. It's not about free Palestine. To use rape as a weapon of war, it's something that we all have to shout out against. It's unacceptable. It should be what plain. It should be plain that we all should agree that sexual violence is a war crime. But what, what should the UN, what should some of these other organizations, these global organizations, who have not spoken up as loudly as they did during the Me Too movement, say and do to support these victims and the victims' families? Nothing. Two months it took the, took the UN to condemn. Two months. And then in a weak condemnation, they said they are alarmed by the sexual assault of Hamas. Come on. This is what you have to say after two months of silence? And women organization, I came to speak to them. I came to their office. They, they, they didn't, they, not, not just they, they don't speak, they ignore me at all. Like they say they don't have time to deal with it because of the war in Gaza. Some of them didn't even answer the phone. I feel ashamed, so ashamed to be a part of any woman organization now in the world. I feel ashamed for the UN. I think it's really, I, my heart breaks to see that this is what we have to deal with. Yeah. And it's nothing to do about, they don't care about women. Well, we should all it's care. Because it's very big. Yeah. We should all care about this cause and we should all remember because uh, too often times these crimes happen and then there are people who move on, but the, the victims and their families uh, should be remembered. And we appreciate 
you joining us. Thank you for the work that you're doing to advocate uh, for all victims of sexual violence. And Lenore, we appreciate you joining us. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.